three more games. Four, but one of them's a client play. Almost done here. This one's Washington State at Boise State. Number is now like 10.5, seeing some juice 10s. Uh, it was higher earlier, got up to like 11.5. I know Wazoo's going to be a popular bet. They lost, if you didn't know, to Eastern Washington to open the, their season at home. Uh, they did the same thing last year, not to Eastern Washington, I believe to Portland. I don't think it was Portland State. I'm 69% sure it was Portland. Um, but either way, they lost again, another FCS team here. Uh, but they bounced back last year. They won like nine games. So uh, hard to really tell, and I think that's why they're a popular pick because you think you're getting like an inflated number here, especially after Boise State just manhandled uh, Lafayette, which was a bet for me. I took plus 20 and a half, thought it was a great bet. One of my favorite, other than the South Bama play, honestly. Uh, it came down to, I think a lot of sharper guys were betting it, and uh, never really had a shot. Boise State just killed them in the trenches, absolutely destroyed them. Uh, I think there I was seeing some like ratings as far as like game ratings and Boise State played like the fourth best game of week one. Uh, you know, and it was a spot where they were traveling across playing an early game that got moved up uh, to an early slot um, that wasn't planned to be an early s- slot. So for a West Coast team, that's that's a tough adjustment. And they're playing in, you know, the bayou, like hot, humid, muggy weather that they're not accustomed to either in Idaho. Everything lined up, and they just crushed Lafayette. So I got to give Boise State credit. Uh, I think a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, well, this is inflated because Boise did really well. And, um, you know, the Wazoo trash FCS. Um, not trash. What am I trying to say? Uh, loss. The loss of the FCS school. So uh, after just babbling about that, I'm getting to the points. I swear I got to do these not at 1 a.m. The idea that it's inflated is incorrect. It's come down. Um, I lined it though, like at 10 and a half. So when it was 11 and a half, I'm never betting that because it actually isn't inflated, but people are betting on uh, Washington state just because they assume it is. Uh, if this got under 10, um, I don't know how far I'm just going to wait and see, because I'm pretty sure Wazoo's going to get a lot of the money. Sharp guys. I talked to no one's bet Wazoo. And one guy I talk to regularly actually likes Boise, um, in similar fashion and might lay it with them, uh, you know, once once the number comes down. So it's headed that way. I would wait. Uh, the total has also gone way up, like six points, which is probably correct. Uh, the one downside, I guess, if you wanted to break down the X's and O's of the strength from the Broncos, Boise State last week was the trenches. They just dominated Lafayette that way. Well, Wazoo, the way their offense is run, if you don't know, is Mike Leach offense is just hike, throw the ball. Really quick routes. Uh, the trenches don't are they're basically non-existent to an extent. Uh, they're throwing the ball and getting rid of it so quick. So if that was one thing that Boise State was able to do to limit Lafayette and control the, you know the defensive line, uh, well, not only is it not as much of an advantage because they're playing a better offensive line now, but uh, it plays right into Wazoo, who doesn't really care how how good a defensive line is because they just get rid of the ball so quickly. So. Uh, for me, that would be the the reason to play Wazoo if you believe that the matchup uh, angle. But no one else will tell you that. I promise. If you find someone else that mentions at that point, show me. I'll send you a twenty dollar gift card to Subway or with Jared or whatever you want to do. Shouldn't have said his name. He's a terrible, terrible human being. But the idea is here is people are saying, oh well, it's a too high of a number. It's not true. Okay, the number's fine. The reason to bet Wazoo would be because they actually match up well because it limits Boise State's strengths, which is, you know, their defensive line especially. And, you know, defensively, obviously, Wazoo had some issues, uh, which is why I also think Boise's going to be fine. But uh, if someone else makes that point, I will send someone $20 to any place of their choice. Actually, probably shouldn't even use that other restaurant. That'll be the only place you can't get one to will be Subway. Any other place, I'll send you $20. You can go buy a beer or two or three or just get some food for lunch one day. Um, there's probably some tad out there that did break down Wazoo as like their game of the year and maybe mention that, but I'd be surprised. Uh, I hope someone finds it. But I'm not even betting the game, and I think that's the only reason I would ever look at Wazoo. So, uh, anyways, it's a pass for me, and the total is now back into a, a spot where I guess this is where I kind of branched to this idea. Uh, Wazoo's going to score, and Boise State's going to score. Not surprised to see it go up. Uh, My number I didn't really trust a lot because Boise State might be better offensively than I expected after that Lafayette matchup. 
And Wazoo defensively might be a lot worse after losing to Eastern Washington at home and giving up a ton of points. So I'm going to wait and see because my number did come in lower. But I'm not even going to bother. I think got to see another week from both of these teams.